Before start this episode, I just want to say, come on to Rust and join me. I have a small base. The server is this one here, the Hibernina for whatever it is, mature players. Ho I'm hoping to meet you here. I've already got a couple of friends or like people I've met just playing with me. Got quite a, not, I wouldn't say decent base, but quite a, an okay base for starting off. Um, This fucking bear scaring me. So, yeah. Now, this video is not going to be the longest of videos, but this is going to be a new series I'm going to start, and I'm going to call it Rust Concepts. This is going to be concepts that I think about and want to be added into the game. And I really think this, the things I put in the series will be nice. But today I'm going to be starting on um, breakable chests, uh, like the loot chests you find in Tim's. So if I can find one, I'll see what I'll So while playing Rust, as you see, when you take the loot out of these chests, they disappear. This can take away some, like, this can really take away the realism in the game and be like, why the fuck did that disappear? So what I'm saying they should add, or uh, the developer of the game, which is Facepunch Studios or Facepunch or something like that, what they should really do is make it so when you've looted it, you can hit it with a hatchet or a pickaxe and it will actually give you the the materials from it. So say it's a chest, they'll give you some wood, maybe cloth and a couple of metal fragments. This will really be a great addition into the game, I believe, and they should, they should add this, and I really think this will be... Uh, beneficial to the players and just make the game a tad more like realism and uh, so it'll just make more effort put into the loot times and stuff like that I really think you should add that and not just the chest uh, the airdrop so if you, uh, if you know the airdrop is really a rewarding thing but to make it even more rewarding actual hitting it with a pick it should give you uh, at least like 200 cloth and a lot of metal fragments about like the chopper and I think that like would make it a lot more interesting for the airdrop so when the airdrop drops you're not just that race to get the loot out and run away there's, a, there's also that race to mine it and get the resources from it this will make group pay play a lot more like communicative say like oh one of your team members grabs a loot from and another one hits them like that if, and maybe you have like a 1% chance that the airdrop when you hit it gives you High quite metal, like 10 of it, which seems a bit good uh, to me, I guess. But yeah, something like that. This this will just be a great addition. I believe it should be added. Um, I don't see why not. I don't see why they can't. It should be easy to implement. It's really just a term of getting it balanced. Because maybe if they don't... They, the main reason I believe they... Uh, the boxes disappear is to stop um, the boxes from overlapping when they spawn back in so it's to stop that maybe but maybe they can program in if it respawns the thing just gets deleted anyway it just deletes after a certain amount of time if it's been loaded and also these things here that are new I really think they should add in uh, you gather resources from these because it's kind of stupid just having a a thing there that breaks your tools and you don't get anything from them. I really, really think them barricades, they're really nice that they've added them actually and they started to actually texture up these areas and I've seen the, the concepts or what they're going to add soon, like the harbour and shit, that just looks beautiful. Rust is really starting to turn into one of the best games on Steam right now. As you can see my fucking house, it just sticks out, it used to be really camouflaged. I'm trying to think what else. Um, I would like in the game. I don't know about new weapons, like maybe another pistol because there's only one pistol, well two, the semi-auto and the Yoka, but no one uses that Yoka. Maybe a better semi-auto that's harder or like it's balanced, it's not it's not better but it's like better in some parts. Maybe a full auto pistol which has shitty recoil and no range. That would, that's what seems quite nice and it uses um, pistol bullets. Um, or maybe a deagle that uses rifle ammo that can uh, two hit ahead and shit like that. Or maybe three hit ahead, I don't know. But it's got a really big kick to the gun. Uh, this is really um, concepts that I'm, I'm thinking of. Another big problem in Rust I can see is um, offline raiding. It's not really a problem. Some people use it as a, a strategic advantage. But... 
some people on Rust don't have the time to sit and defend their base 24-7 from raiders. I really think they should start to bring in more things rather than turrets. Maybe a different type of turret that shoots explosive ammo like explosive ammo like a cannon or a man turret that's more powerful for people that, that are getting uh, all in raided, you know, like um, a sentry gun which is manned but it does not shoot automatically. You have to have a guy on it which shoots massive bullets that fucking demolish raiders and the raid bases. I think they should have something like that, but maybe not as powerful as, powerful as I am explaining it, but something similar. I also think to help the offline raids or the solo players a bit more, add electricity and have the metal, because there's really no advantage having the stone and the metal. Like this maybe takes another rocket, but 2C4 is still 2C4 having the metal and you can have an electrical current going through it which also shocks the players that are on it but it has to be disabled pro before they exit so have like electrical currents on the doors so they can't be hatcheted or something like that or electrical currents on the stairs and shit like that that would really be nice if they can have shit like that I say shit like that a lot um, and if they are electric if the house is powered you can have like trap doors and uh, lights that don't need oil, stuff like that, that would be really, really cool to see in the game. Um, and maybe add, like, instead of the electric being, it has to be wired, sort of work like a tool cupboard. Um, if the stuff is in the, um, the area of this generator, it will power it. This will give the raiders another thing to target that's not just a tool cupboard. There'd be a generator, maybe make it a bit smaller area than tail cover, so there has to be lots of them. That'd be quite cool. It'll also make a better way of getting rid of turrets, um, if the turrets had to be in that certain area. And it'll stop people placing random turrets at spawns and shit, like that does happen sometimes. I don't know why people waste a third in that. But this this is another uh, beautiful idea in Rust. Maybe um, more arrow tips, they've also been dis uh, talking about arrow tips. I think they should add like explosive arrows, fire arrows, uh, stronger ones that have more drop, uh, ones that go further but that do less damage, a bit like the high velocity actually, but a lot further than that. Um, uh, stuff like that, and then you get one that doesn't go as far, but it's really powerful, like a stone tipped arrow, and it's fucking wrecks through enemies or something. Um, I think they should do that, uh, it'd be really nice. and. I think oil buckets or something, so you can, f instead of w water buckets holding water, you can put oil on it and it'll burn players. Uh, if you can chuck it down on them, if they're raiding you. There's a lot of concepts I can think of, but this will be this episode done. Hopefully you enjoy this, just, I don't know who it is, but please share it on Twitter, so um, the Rust devs can maybe see this and think about what I've said. They probably already got it all in plan, or probably already thought of it all. Like, oh, we should do that, we should do that, and said, no, they shouldn't. Like, yeah, you're trying to get what I'm saying, but I think we should, as a community, try and get more stuff added. They, I know they try the hardest add stuff, but I mean, yeah, stuff like that. And maybe, maybe, it will happen. Thank you for watching.